Today I want to show off how you can add a widget to your screen using entirely C++. The first step is going to be for you to go to your build file. So in the source folder for your project, there will be a project name .build file. Open that up. This file is where you set up all of your dependencies or basically all of the list of things that you're actually going to be able to use inside of your project. We're going to need to add UMG to this list. So after enhance input, add a comma and then put UMG inside of parentheses. After that is done, you're going to go build, build solution. There should be no errors at this point, but this will successfully add all of the UMG stuff so that you're able to actually reference it going forward. From there, you can go into the header file that you want to edit. For me, it's just going to be the game mode for our project. There are going to be two pieces to this. First, you are going to have a widget reference, which is going to set up the expectation for what widget you want to use in what context. And this is going to be the created widget, or as in, once we've actually created the widget using our widget reference, we are going to store it in this variable here. Now to actually use this stuff inside of the C++ file, I'm going to do all of this in begin play, but you take whatever liberties you want with that. Step one is to actually create the widget. The way we do that is we're first going to check if our widget reference is valid. This means if we accidentally forget to fill it in inside of the blueprint editor, we will not be chastised. But in the event widget reference is set up properly, we can take our created widget variable and we can call create widget. Now you are not going to be able to see create widget unless you go to the top of your file and include blueprint slash user widget dot h. Assuming you do that, you'll be able to use create widget, which takes in the world you want to spawn this widget into and then the reference or type of widget that you want to make. Once this is done, the created widget variable will be ready to use and either put the widget onto the viewport or take the widget away from the viewport. To put this widget on screen, it's actually the same call as in the blueprint version. You can make sure that your created widget is valid first, but then you're going to call this add to viewport off of the created widget and that is going to add it to the screen. And once you go ahead and compile your project and make sure you have a blueprint reference set up that takes in a special widget that you will have made, when you hit play, your widget will appear. And it's important to note also that the same applies if you ever wanted to remove this widget from the viewport as well. If you go created widget slash remove from parent, this would be the method call that takes the widget away from the screen. So you can set up these parameters in whatever methods you need them to be. The final thing I want to note is that you will see that I set this actual created widget to be a U property. If you do not do this, your entire project will crash with a bug that I cannot explain. But rest assured, if you actually set this as a U property, for some reason, that entire issue will go away and not give you a headache. I hope this tutorial on how to put widgets on your screen entirely within C++ has been helpful. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.